in regard to the disaster management circle, we have seen that starting from prevention, mitigation, and preparation, these are termed as risk reduction measures. As the other one, which are responses and the recovery phases, these are crisis management measures. When you talk of risk reduction measure, these are delivered pre-impact. Means that you can do preparedness before there is no disaster. You do mitigation, no disaster. You build the dams to accommodate the flood. You build the gabions, you build the what? You prevent the disaster by all means. But when it comes to response and recovery, this means that is a crisis. People are dying. Environment is dilapidated, And you need to intervene immediately. And in this case, these are delivered post-impact. Least cost effective. It involves a lot because there, you have to save lives. So it, it is not cost effective at all. It is national and international based. And it is non-sustainable. But when it comes to preparation, mitigation, and prevention, it is community-based and it is sustainable. So that's why Hugo Framework for Action uh, outlined that we should base on community because the disasters are local and they happen at the community level. And this aspect of disaster are sustainable. You can continue. You can integrate it into developmental plan activity, which you can you can do it while you are you are relaxed. You don't have war. You are peaceful. So we have to avoid the crisis management of or to reduce the level of impact a community or will get during the disasters. So as to apply more of risk reduction measures than crisis management. Other uh, important definition, these are relief and risk, which you have already said that this is it, the time period immediately after disaster. And uh, so uh, rescue and relief. Rescue means that to secure life is very important. Relief is to sustain life. Uh, so rehabilitation is another term which is used, which is important for you to know. After the closure of the relief phase, it means that no more dependence for the basic need satisfaction. There is need to restore mental and physical health and the stability of the community. You understand, and as such a situation of the disaster, maybe there have been rape, there have been this one, they have been uh, cut out of the community. They have been forced to live the life they were not used to. And in fact, restoring the mental and physical health is vital, is very important. It is also important to instill principle of sustainable livelihood. Now they can grow their own things. They can start depending, not depending on the gift or supplies from external. So empowering the victim or survivors is key important in the rehabilitation phase. Should lead to better development and a sustainable development. Early recovery plan for IDPs, reafforestation program, post recovery plans those are emphasis, emphasis to restoration of original status people need to stay the way they use to have the democracy of electing their leaders to respect their leaders to live the life they used to live and uh, some recovery example might involve physical infrastructure repair enhancement maybe of the pre disaster state building resilience, providing new structures, housing schemes that will be able to withstand a similar disaster. 
In fact, if some houses have been, the record of standard should be applied to have houses that will sustain similar disasters in future. So that we don't create new vulnerability through reconstruction. You can create a new vulnerability. Involve systematic integration of disease and long-term development. Disease, nutrition, status, and long-term development. In fact, an evolution in approach is this. Shall we really wait? Shall we wait our people to die? The evolution of approach is from response and relief to risk reduction. Because response and relief is no longer humane. I'm quite sure by now you can put down and all of you just put down or place what mechanism to prevent disasters in your district. What mechanism have you to put in place to reduce vulnerability to disasters? What mechanism have you put in place to prepare for disaster in case they occur? I'm quite sure this one now, you can explain it. You can, so you can put, and you can be a manager in your district. Now we understand all disasters are local. There is no disasters which happen at the country level, at the ministerial level. All disasters happen in a certain household. There are primarily some households which suffer, some villages, some districts. So the earliest response to disaster often comes from the community itself. So the community, the capacity of the community to respond to disaster should be built. It is important to build the capacity of the community to respond to disaster. And that is in line with the Hugo Framework for Action. That capacity to be built at all level, from household level to the top management to the country level. To summarize what we have learned or we have discussed today, we have managed to cover the basic concepts of disaster, basic definition or definitions of disasters and disaster management. We even go further and see the classification of disasters based on onset, based on climatic, based on geological. We went further to see why are we learning these disasters as a subject in a master course or in a diploma course in a public health specialty? We discussed also the issue of the public health consequences of disasters. We went further and looked how should control these disasters based on Hyogo Framework for Action. We finally end up by reviewing what the faces of disasters and the humane way and the crisis way in which we concluded that disaster risk reduction is the best way of combating disaster, especially in developing countries where the resource is very scarce. We noted also that crisis management for disaster is very expensive, is not a human, is not a sustainable, is a national and international interest rather than the community interest. And lastly, we even see that all disasters are local and by empowering the local community, we will be able to reduce the effect of disaster or oh, to
to reduce the disaster uh, into our community uh, substantially. Thank you very much. This is the end of my presentation. Mm -hmm.